I was heartbroken, so I flew to New York. Crazy out here. Can I just have a little deep chat with you guys? Let's have a deep chat. Okay. I love you, baby. In the studio, working till it's 4 a.m. Who the fuck is that? Mm, I ain't heard of them. Yeah, that nigga all cap, I ain't one of them. Tryna figure out why you ever wanted him. Yeah, my wrist gone, and your bitch gone. I can see why you never let her leave. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone. I am in New York right now. New York baby! I feel like a hot sweaty gross mess. So I just decided to just fly to New York because why not? Why not when you're heartbroken and your life's falling apart to just like plan a trip to New York and get on a plane? Like really why not? I am dying. Yeah, that's all I have to say actually. I was gonna stand here and like say a whole intro and talk a bunch but realistically that's all I had to say. I was heartbroken so I flew to New York. Anyway, all I had today was like coffee, so let's go get ready to explore and eat some pizza! I look like a skinny legend! Like seriously, I don't think I actually could have done this without my ex cheating on me, like I'm almost grateful he did that, almost. What are you even saying? Look at that sunset! Alright, um, I fucking reek, so let's go take a shower. <laughs> Out of the shower, but um, guys, I have already unpacked everything like everything. All of my toiletries are already out. I have like food stuff up here, random like this is like random accessories, masks, workout bands, sunglasses, clothes, more clothes up there, jackets hung up, dirty washing, keeping under there. My little feet, then actually not so little. My suitcases are under the bed. My favorite view, pretty set up. One thing I forgot, which I'm like killing myself about right now, is toothpaste. I didn't bring toothpaste, so I'm gonna have to go out tonight and get that, otherwise I will die. I just like, I won't wake up tomorrow morning if I haven't brushed my teeth. But yeah, let's go get ready, go get some pizza. I kinda wanna take an Instagram picture, so I might put on some makeup, but let's go. So guys, I'm all ready, and ugh, I know I look fabulous. Okay, little OOTD shall we do? Alright, we're gonna ignore the shoes because I'm being comfy and like I'm gonna take Instagram pictures and my shoes aren't gonna be in it, so like, I'll give- yeah, that's- that's why we're not gonna do that. Jeans are Brandy Melville, belt YSL, top so it's like bra thing is from Lululemon, jacket, All Saints, and yeah, that's it. So the plan right now is I'm gonna go meet up with Julian because he's here in town right now, which is really exciting. He leaves tomorrow. I messaged him and asked him if he wanted to get dinner, and yeah, so we're gonna go get pizza together. I haven't seen him in a really long time, so I'm really excited. Yeah, we're gonna go get food. Ah, let's go, ladies! I'm in New York. How exciting is this? And I look this good. Like, who let me? Who let me? It was my first time walking the streets of New York. Like, this is fucking insane. Like, I'm literally, like, I'm perfect. Like, I look like such a tourist, but I'm, like, freaking out. Oh, and there's cars. Look, these are New York cars. Wow. It's crazy out here. It's crazy out here. I'm, like, so iconic right now. I really did this. I really be doing... Oh, okay. I be doing this. Here we are, Joe's Pizza. And this is the one that I saw on like uh, the BuzzFeed like what's it thing. Guys, this looks so good. I'm getting this one. Look at them making it all in the back. I should have recorded my first bite. This is like so good. So full, that was amazing. I have one more slice left because I only ordered one but I think they messed up and they gave me two. I'm not complaining. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna take a picture with it, use it like a little prop. I got a good Instagram picture though so I'll insert it and you guys gotta go like the Instagram picture. Go like it right now and go comment the pizza emoji or go comment the red heart and I will like your comment, I promise you. I will either like it or reply to it. Going to CVS because I was a dumb bitch. I forgot toothpaste. I forgot a hair straightener. It's closed. It's closed? Where, where do I buy toothpaste? I'm picking up watermelon because I have tahin. Back at my apartment, not my apartment, my yeah. hotel. So I know. got my toothpaste. I'm also managing to get the hair straightener, so I'm very excited because I really needed it. I do not want to keep my hair in braids for the rest of the trip, but this is cute. Like I'm feeling it whilst it's a thing. 
but I don't want it to say a thing, so. Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, should I turn these lights out? It's pretty bright. Probably thinking I'm a telekinetic. Oh, but you're a fan of magic pussy like an alakazam. You guys are currently being balanced on my peach tea. See? Julian just left. I know I didn't vlog much with him. It was nice to be able to like catch up with him because I hadn't seen him in a really long time like by ourselves. I think that was something that was very much needed for both of us. Yeah. I love him. So I'm eating watermelon and tahini. How is it so good? It's coming up on 1 a.m. Which is pretty late. It's actually a lot later than I was like kind of hoping to be in bed. I want to have an early morning because I, I have a lot... <laughs> I have a busy day planned tomorrow. I really want to wake up and work out. Also, honestly, walking the streets of New York, like, I love it here. It's a little scary. There's a lot of crackheads, but the streets here, like, are so amazing. Like, I feel so... I was trying to have a moment with you guys and my camera died. New York has been magical so far. Like, like I get in. I'm staying at the Arlo Nomad, by the way. I'm not sponsored. I wish, though, like... Could have comped it. I get to my hotel. The hotel smells so good. It smells insane. The hotel smells. I don't like. I've never been to a hotel that smells so good. I want the way this hotel smells as a perfume. Like I, I, I want it. It like literally the best slice of pizza I've ever had in my life. I took some bomb ass Instagram pictures. I bought watermelon that I'm now eating with tahini. Like it's really not getting better than this. Mmm. Mmm. And I managed to pick up a hair straightener. Woohoo! I know absolutely nothing about this, but it was forty dollars. Just know that I needed it. I got some toothpaste. Well, time for bed. Gotta go take my makeup off, which I'm dreading. Okay, so it's coming up on two thirty a.m. I just um, I posted an Instagram picture, so go like it. It's me and a piece of pizza. It's really cute. I'm going to sleep now because it's two thirty a.m. I guarantee you, the light of outside will wake me up tomorrow morning but that's that's okay and you're welcome for getting this fabulous angle of me like I'm still gorgeous from this angle like you can't lie I want to wake up in the morning and actually work out so I need sleep I love you good night good morning guys this stupid alarm thing right there just woke me up at 6 a.m and i didn't know how to turn it off so it kept buzzing really fucking loud mm. i have had like three and a half hours of sleep after a whole day of traveling yesterday should i just try and go back to sleep i kind of honestly wanted to be up early but like should i just try and go back to sleep i just think i should be well rested so i don't get sick Ugh. but now it's already light outside it's so hard getting to sleep oh i have a I have an eye mask, I'm good. You know what, I was gonna work out this morning, but I think it's best that I get rest. Alright, yeah, let's go back to sleep. Okay, actually I'm peeing first. I'm so tired. So I tried going back to sleep and I couldn't. I think I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm in the elevator. Let's go! <laughs> I just ran so fast. So that was a great workout. Okay, actually it was really, really short. I just did like 15 minutes running on the treadmill. But I haven't ran in like literally months. I don't run, so really surprising for myself to be able to hold that long. I wanted to do some like weight stuff, but then I got really scared because I'm intimidated. Especially with a new gym, I get scared of and intimidated of the weights, but I'm just at Starbucks. I'm just gonna get a coffee. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Can I just get a ice oat milk latte? What size? A uh, grande, please. With three shots of espresso, sugar-free vanilla syrup. That's going to be delicious. I know. How are you doing, India? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Me and my Starbucks. Ooh. Feeling good. Like I should. And I love how I can look so freely in New York. Like, literally, nobody cares. Nobody's staring, nobody cares. Like, I need to live here. Who, who wants me to live in New York? But I feel like such a tourist. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, oh, I just look at It is a gorgeous day in the New Yorks of the city. Uh, we have gorgeous building, a little bit of construction marking going on here, so let's see what they're up to. Jim, Bob, Timmy, Timmy Thick. <laughs> Seriously, what happened to Timmy Thick? 
Honestly, someone signed me up to live here. The thing is though, is I really like where I'm staying. I would love to live in New York, but like in this hotel room. Okay, a few months ago, I went to LA for a pretty long period of time. I got out to LA, England went back into lockdown, so I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna stay in LA for longer. And I ended up staying in LA for like, like a good month. I ended up staying like a month in a hotel room. And can I just say, living in a hotel room, not sustainable financially at all, but it is so much fun. Only downside is there's no kitchen, so I like cooking my own food and that's like kind of annoying for me. But at the same time, when I'm in LA, like I always eat out anyway, so it's like, I just want to live here in New York. I really want that. In this hotel room. Every morning I can get up, go to the gym for free because I'm in this hotel. Like I literally get a free gym. It's just this hotel room, it's so tiny. It's literally like a little box. Like it's supposed to be this way. It's New York. The fact that I can literally roam the streets with my camera like waving around and nobody stares. Like what? I feel like I can do anything here and just like no one's judging me. I just got here and it's already been everything so perfect. My sugaring appointment is a four minute walk. Walk. Can I just have a little deep chat with you guys? Let's have a deep chat. Okay. The past two years have been like stuck just wishing I could go back two years. Like back to 2019 summer. This is something that I was kind of talking to Julian about last night because Julian was a huge part of my 2019 summer. And if you don't know really what went on in 2019 summer or like why it's such a special time for me, it's just like a lot of things were just going really well for me in life, which is crazy because at the time I thought I was like depressed. Not self-diagnosed, but like I really thought like I was kind of recovering or like dealing with the whole thing that happened to me in the February right before the summer, which was when the like sexual assault stuff happened, whatever. And so in the summer, I, w I did have a lot of panic attacks and anxiety attacks over it, but like I had two really close people that would help me through everything. Also around that time, I would argue with my mom like crazy, like made my mental health so bad. Like my mental health was so bad, yeah, I also had never had better memories in my life. Like, I don't know. I think it's just because everything was also very intense. Like I look back and like the memories were very intense. A lot of things also that summer were going really well for me. Like my career, things were going really well. I grew like I think 100 or 200,000 subscribers in like literally a few days. My videos were getting millions of views. I came out with a clothing line. I was going out every day, having so much fun. I had a best friend, which was Julian. I'm not gonna go into detail of like what happened with all of that right now, but um, Julian and I, we've kind of talked on maybe doing, it's it's really if he's comfortable with it because he doesn't like being in front of the camera too much. Maybe doing a video with him talking about like the truth of LA because he knows a lot about that too and like how fake everyone can be and just all of that stuff. Anyway, Julian and I were best friends. We went out every day. I have some of my favorite memories with him. Also that summer was the first time I fell in love and the first time I'd ever like felt someone fall in love with me too. That also was very intense. I think just like all of those amazing things happening that summer, fun memories. Ever since then like I had just constantly been hoping to go back to that time and I slowly started thinking like I'm just gonna have to accept that that was the peak of my existence and <laughs> and I'm never gonna make memories again like that brought me that much serotonin. I don't think anything would ever bring me the joy that 2019 summer brought me literally until the past month. It was when I went to Texas So I went off to Texas actually a few weeks ago Let me explain the whole thought process before this New York City trip thing. Yes, we know I got cheated on Okay, it was really bad with the guy that you know, I fell in love with I'm not gonna bash him on here. This is not for that not the time we still like talk and stuff If I'm gonna be dead honest we were he was gonna come out here and I was gonna end I told him literally the day before like I think it's best if I just have this trip to myself yeah, I was gonna meet him out here. I was like, last minute, I was like, nah, I'm gonna make it a little alone trip. Cause that's what I planned it to be. What happened was, yeah, I got cheated on and then I was like, literally so depressed and upset. For me, when I go through something traumatic like that, like I need something to look forward to. Whether that's a trip, whether that's anything, like I need something to look forward to, otherwise I don't wanna get out of bed. I don't wanna move, I don't wanna get out of bed. Like I'm just like, I'm not, I don't wanna do anything. What motivated me to like, you know, keep going was New York trip. I put in my head, I was like, you know what? I wanna do a New York trip. I started discussing things with my dad because he always gets like flight deals and stuff. He always tells me India, like if you ever need like a flight anywhere or like help with booking something like hotels, he has like a lot of points and like gets like deals on things. I remember reaching out to him and telling him like, hey, I wanna go to New York. And he was like, well, India, why don't you think of coming to Texas first? I was like, eh. But then I was like, you know what? That might be a good idea because also whenever I go through hard times with boys, since I got closer to my dad again in November, as you 
you guys all know I went and saw him for the first time in five years. I kind of asked him for some boy advice and stuff and I remember like I started getting boy advice from my dad and it was like advice I'd never heard before. I really, oh, I'm kind of annoyed at myself because I was going to film a boy advice video with my dad when I was just there but then we just never had time to get around to it. Hopefully I will soon. He gives me good advice because back in January when my ex and I broke up again I know, very on and off. Please don't kill me. In the February, I went off to LA and I hung out in LA for two weeks, did not reach out to my ex at all. I asked all my friends for advice. I was like, what do I do? Like, I miss him, but like, should I like reach out to him? Like, I don't know. And all my friends, they were like, no, like, just have fun. Like, show him you don't need him. Have a good time. Like, show him that you can, like, you know, be out and do your own thing. And I was like, yeah, that's good advice. I'll show him that I don't need him, you know? Like, and that's what I did. I, for like weeks, I like went around, hung out with all my friends, had fun, showed him I didn't need him. And then my dad and I FaceTimed or whatever whilst I was out there. He asked me about my trip and I started asking for boy advice. I said, I was like, yeah, like I haven't seen him. I just wanted to like, you know, come out here. Like I didn't want to look like I needed him and stuff. And my dad was like, don't you love him? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, so why would you want to shove it in his face that you don't need him? Like if you care about him, like clearly that's going to hurt him. Like why are you doing that? Like, like, yeah, we all know that technically I don't need him. Like technically I don't need him. But when you guys love each other, like that's hurtful to shove in someone's face. My dad was basically trying to tell me like, you need to humble yourself. Yeah, I agree. Like all this like bad bitch energy, like girl power stuff. Like I really, I think it's great. But also there's just like, it never helped me now that I look back with my relationship, with me not being humble and letting my ego take care of everything. Anytime I started taking my dad's advice, my relationship started getting better. I don't know. I think it's been really great having him in my life like that for male perspective. So now when I have boy advice, like if I want logical advice, I'll go to my dad. But if I just want my friends to like hype me up and just like, you know, like make me feel better, I'll just go to them. So I still like my friend's advice. I still take it into consideration, but just like I'm trying to be a bit more humble. Anyway, I don't know where I'm, I went off on a rant. That was a tangent. My point with the situation was supposed to be that when my dad offered me to come out to Texas before New York, I was like, actually, this could be a good idea. I just went through a horrible breakup. I, I just got cheated on. Like, I want to ask my dad for advice on either how to get over it, on whether I should give him a second chance, whether I should cut him off, like how I should deal with everything. So I knew I wanted to see my dad just so I could have that male perspective. And when I went off to Texas, I just spent so much time with family and like, I made friends and like I made some amazing memories. I have not been that genuinely happy in years. Even 2019 summer, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't as happy as I was this past month. That's insane to me because I look back on 2019 summer and all I wanted to do was just go back to then, like literally up until like a month ago. Like I literally made a TikTok on the 1st of June saying the way I would spend every penny I have to relive summer 2019. That's how obsessed I was with summer 2019. Like it was such a big thing to me. And now I feel like I can finally let that go and let that rest just because of the amazing memories like I've had now like I really thought that's it for the rest of my life I'm never gonna have fun memories like that ever again and then I just I just did so maybe that's a good thing about that came out of me being cheated on because if I got didn't get cheated on I probably wouldn't have gone to Texas and found myself probably wouldn't have made this trip to New York I guess everything happens for a reason anyway the time is 8 40 I have 20 minutes to shower get ready and walk to my appointment so Let's go ladies! Also, I think I might end this vlog soon and do and start a new one because I'm gonna do like a whole little glow up. So I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna start a new vlog of like a glow up video. So stay tuned for my glow up video coming soon. Yeah, today on the agenda is like waxing, nails, massage. I'm so excited. Look at New York City. Look at I'm having one of those moments, like I'm literally the main character. Oh my goodness, I just took my hair out of the braids because I'm gonna take a shower and it looks cute. Okay, I'm like really running late, but I think I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm literally gonna start my next glow up video vlog, like literally right after this. Yeah, I'll see you, see you in the next vlog.